Well, as you know, Atlanta is known for a lot of things, music, culture, and civil rights. But now the city is emerging with a brand new title. Natisha Lance takes us behind the city's rise as the black tech capital. History is being made in Atlanta. A report in USA Today calling Atlanta the country's black tech capital. Atlanta will be the best place in the world to build a technology business as a black entrepreneur. In a city named the fourth fastest growing market for tech jobs, black tech entrepreneurs are doing things their own way outside of Silicon Valley. No other city has over 20 Fortune 500s, over 20 Grammy Award winning musicians, and over 200,000 college students. Dr. Paul Judge is known by some as Atlanta's godfather of tech. It's a title he's not completely relaxed into yet. Sometimes there's you know, titles that you have to grow into. Judge saw Atlanta's tech potential 20 years ago. That was before it added nearly 32,000 tech jobs in five years, and long before one in four tech workers were black. Atlanta's just a, naturally a diverse city. And so as you kind of provide access to these opportunities, uh, there'll just be more people of color. Now he's leading the next phase with the recent purchase of the A3C Festival. For 15 years, A3C was known as a hip hop music festival. This year, the first under Judge and his partners, it was a merger between the music, film, and tech. Atlanta doesn't have a premier conference experience you know, other than A3C, and so we really want this to be the platform that the city can celebrate. Much like Ryan Wilson's private membership club, The Gathering Spot. It's come to be known as a central hub for black entrepreneurs and creatives to build their dream. But every dream comes with challenges. It's hard to build a technology company. It's hard to raise money for a technology company. It's hard to be black in America. So when you layer those things, it's difficult. Just 1% of venture capital dollars are invested into black startups. Most venture-backed startups fit a specific profile, male, white, Ivy League educated, and based in Silicon Valley. Right now, I see such a big gap for entrepreneurs who are looking and seeking funding that that's the thing that I really want to go and solve. Jewel Burke Solomon sold her company PartPick to Amazon in 2016. Since, she's committed to growing Atlanta's pool of entrepreneurs. She founded Collab Capital with two partners. The company supports founders like Tracy Pickett with mentorship and funding. Collab invested in Tracy's company, Hairbrella. It's the number one rain hat sold on Amazon. Jewel, just like Paul believes, Atlanta's impact on tech is just warming up. How many amazing kind of world changing companies can we create? I think that's the opportunity for us, but we'll do it in our own original way uh, by using the ingredients that we have here that no one else has. And the ecosystem is so big, it was really difficult to narrow down who to talk to about this. So Dr. Judge called this what's happening in Atlanta right now, mm -hmm. what the closest thing to equal opportunity in this country that they've ever seen. And that's because you can dream something up, right. then you can take it to a computer, you can code it to do it, and then you have this living, breathing thing that hopefully contributes to the world in a positive awesome. way. Awesome. All right, so there are a lot of people who may see this and be like, hey, yo, wait, I got an idea, but yeah. who do I contact, what do I do next? I was thinking that when yeah. I was doing this. So there are a lot of programs that are around the city, and some of them are at Atlanta Tech Village, there's Georgia Tech, and also the farm. So they will teach you, if you have that idea, how to nurture it and then create a tech company, which is pretty cool, and then show you how to raise it up and get equity in that company as that well, too. That is awesome. Thanks, Natisha. Yeah, you bet.